is Mark on Media. Hit it! Welcome to Gunshots Straight from the Hip. I'm your host, Mark Gunn. The views expressed on this program are those of the host and guests and not necessarily reflective of anyone or any entity associated with this broadcast. This episode, Barbara Bush and my close encounter with love and loss. America is mourning the loss of First Lady Barbara Bush, one of the few women in American history who was a wife to one president and the mother to another. All of the talking heads are speaking of her in glowing terms about her life in the public eye. And yes, she did carry herself with a grace and dignity that we've seen in a lot of our First Ladies. Of course, Michelle Obama comes to mind. What stood out to me more than anything else was her relationship with Bush Sr., and something that was said on one of the shows this morning that, in part, was the inspiration for this podcast. The anchor said, quote, For the first time in 73 years, Mr. Bush will wake up without his wife being there. Now, I have to admit that I shed a tear when I heard that, not because I was a big fan of the Bushes, but despite how I or anybody else felt about his presidency, it was always abundantly clear that she was head over heels in love with her husband. Now, they met when Barbara Pierce was only 16 years old. A little over a year later, they got married and have been a constant in each other's lives until her passing. Theirs is a story that reminded me of a couple that I wrote about some six years ago. And thanks to the inspiration of Keith Oberman and his book, Trump is Effing Crazy, which is a collection of essays that he wrote for the GQ Magazine Resistance web series, I'm going to be sharing that story with you as I wrote in 2012, right after this. If you're an advertiser, one of the most important things about getting your message out is actually standing out from the rest of the crowd. If you're listening to this program right now, this is where you would hear your commercial. As an exclusive sponsor to Gunshots Straight from the Hip, your commercial is professionally produced and gets a longer shelf life based on your needs. Gunshots Straight from the Hip is a unique and compelling program unlike anything else in the marketplace. Episodes are also available for download on iTunes. And depending on how you tailor your message, the potential for new and repeat customers is that much greater. Best of all, it's extremely cost effective. If you'd like more information on how to sponsor this broadcast, call Mark Gun Media Inc. at 502-205-2085 or 502-407-0283. That's 502 502- 205-2085 or 502-407-0283. This episode brought to you by the local plug 502.com, a comprehensive website designed as a guide to a Louisville you may not know about. The best places for food, drinks, and fun, all off the beaten path. The local plug 502.com was designed by a professional in the hospitality industry, so you get the real deal when it comes to places to go and things to do. This ain't your local boring Chamber of Commerce website. So if you really want to get to know the city, or if you plan on coming to Louisville anytime soon, check out the localplug502.com. Welcome back to Gunshot Straight from the Hip. We're talking about the loss of First Lady Barbara Bush, who passed away this week at the age of 92. She leaves behind her husband of 73 years, President George H.W. Bush, along with the rest of her family. Now, before the break, I mentioned a couple that I got to know some six years ago. They had a lot in common with the Bushes. I wrote a story about them back then, and I'll share it with you now, as I wrote it. September 19th, 2012. Earlier this evening, I went to see a couple I'd never met, but knew quite a bit about. Dave and Evelyn are 91 and 90, respectively, and have been together practically all of their lives. They met when they were 15 years old and had been together pretty much for the last 73 years as man and wife. I got to know them through the stories that their caregiver, my mother-in-law, and my wife Tracy told. Dave of sound mind and ailing health, Evelyn of sound health but ailing mind. She suffers from dementia, which manifests itself in extremely short-term memory loss. Or, as my wife puts it, 51st dates all day, every day. I had often heard about Ev's fits of jealousy whenever my mother-in-law was trying to help Dave. That's my husband, she'd say. I'm the only one that needs to help him. She was fiercely protective of him. 
I don't know how many times my mother-in-law got fired one minute, only to be rehired in the next. Despite every lapse of memory, one thing remained constant. Ev loved Dave. Over time, the stories were more amusing, but always mixed with a tinge of sadness. Dave had taken seriously ill and had to be hospitalized last week. Tracy and I waited for almost daily updates, always concerned about how Ev was going to handle everything. Sadly, Dave's spirit was willing, but his body just was too weak, and he passed away over the weekend. Today was the first time I'd ever met Dave and Ev. It was at the funeral home. Tracy and I got there when we were greeted by my mother-in-law. I was then introduced to Dave and Evelyn's daughter, Jane. Other introductions were made, and we went around looking at photos of a truly beautiful couple. They spanned their entire life together, and one thing was constant. Ev loved Dave. We made our way to where Evelyn was. She was sitting in a chair next to Dave's coffin. She was stroking his face and commenting on how good he looked. She then broke down and started crying, and I had to give myself a little space. Her family was there to console her, and she regained her composure. It was at that point that we were formally introduced. She'd only seen me in the photographs of our wedding album and knew that I was a radio personality. She heard my name, and her reaction was that of recognition and pleasant surprise. She yelled, Woohoo! <laughs> which caught me off guard and made me feel kind of special. It would be about ten minutes later when I would be reintroduced to her. Evelyn has one of the most bubbly personalities I've ever encountered, and I began to think about what life must have been like for her and Dave before the illnesses set in. I could see through the cloudiness of her mind that she was a very vibrant woman that, more than likely, kept Dave on his toes. As I looked around the room, and more specifically at Evelyn, I was really overwhelmed by how unfair this all was. Now, I'm typically very philosophical when it comes to death, and see it as the passing from one realm of existence to another. This was so much different, though. I had to isolate myself once again because I really felt like crying. I wanted to shed tears for two people I didn't even know, and I knew why. Ev loved Dave. I sat in silence, thinking about the unfairness of Dave's passing. It seems that being together and truly being in love for 73 years ought to count for something. I mean, if you make it that long and feel as strongly for each other as you do when you first met, you deserve a pass. If nothing else, neither person should be left behind, till death do us part takes on a whole new cruelty. I know that Dave is no longer suffering, but that won't be the case for Evelyn, and it sucks. I worry that the bright light that she radiated will succumb to the darkness of a broken heart. I also fear that her illness will not allow her to fully grieve and then begin to heal. I'll keep Evelyn close to my heart and send her lots of love and light in the hopes that she'll be able to cope. I also pray that no matter how much her memory continues to fade, she'll always have that constant. Ev loved no, loves Dave. I wrote that about Evelyn and Dave six years ago. Now, Evelyn is still fighting the good fight, even though her condition has gotten worse. I still worry about her. A few years ago, I was commissioned by the family to create a photo album for Evelyn's birthday. It was during that project that I really got to know them as a couple. Part of my job was to restore a bunch of really old photographs and create a story for the photo album. My wife will tell you that this was one of the most stressful, painstaking, and heart-wrenching assignments I'd ever undertaken. She'll also tell you that it's one of my proudest moments as a photographer. But when you get to witness the kind of love that literally lasts a lifetime, like Dave, Evelyn, George, and Barbara, it gives you hope. It reaffirms your belief in love, and one can only hope that you have that kind of life. One thing that I know is sure as I'm getting a little choked up right now, the older people in our lives are among the greatest treasures we'll ever get. And if we're lucky, we'll live long enough to be those folks that are talked about in such glowing terms. Much love and respect to the Daves, Evelyns, Georges, and Barbaras of the world. 
You've been listening to Gunshots Straight from the Hip. The views expressed are those of the host and guests and not necessarily reflective of any entity or anyone associated with this broadcast. If you'd like to leave a comment or want more information about how you can advertise on this program, email us at gunshotsstraightfromthehip at gmail.com or call 502-205-2085 or 502-407-0283. All comments are welcomed. You can also download this and past episodes on iTunes and other social media outlets. Just search for us by name. Gunshots straight from the hip. Thank you for listening. Media. No hype, no hoopla. Just damn good work.